Before we develop more code to fix the tests that we've written, I want to go through a specific design pattern that we see in web development. You can see it here in this Wikipedia page. It's called the post redirect get pattern. And so let's explore how that works. Now what is is not new is that we have our computer and it's sending requests to our server and the server will respond after processing our data for some time. And that's what we've talked about a lot already. Well, what happens if this is a post request? Well, the, the response still comes back from the server. The server gives some sort of HTML that is a response that the web browser can display. And we expect that. If I make a purchase on an e-commerce site, I expect to be able to go ahead and get some confirmation that that purchase has been made. If I create a new account, like in our system, we expect to see that we have properly created that account. Now that's going to be a, a web page, and the user of that web page can do any number of things. They can click on new links that will generate new requests but they could um, decide to refresh. So I'll, I'll represent that with a you know, kind of common refresh signal here. If they do a refresh, uh, let's say it's because they made a purchase and they want to see an updated status of that purchase, that refresh is going to result in another post to the server. A post that would represent purchasing that item, a post in our case, that would represent creating that same user. And so we don't want this refresh to duplicate this post request. So what we do instead is instead of a normal response, we do what is uh, a 300 level response. Um, there are different status codes for this request. And the, the 300 re me means that we want to redirect the web browser. And what the web browser is going to do then is say, oh, the, as part of this redirect, we get a new URL to go to. And so the web browser is, is going to, to make a, a new request, now not a post, but because it was redirected to a new URL, a get request. And that request is going to be processed by the web server, and we're going to get a new response back to our web browser. And this is going to hopefully be a normal 200 type response. So what happens now is if the, the user follows a link, just like they did up here, no big deal. But if they decide to get a status update and they do a, a re, uh, refresh, then they're not going to refresh this post request because the most recent request was this get request here. And so what's going, going to happen is they're going to repeat this get request that we were redirected to and we're going to get the information from our most recent request. And so this request is not going to try to create new data or duplicate data because this get request is not meant to add any information to the server. All it is meant to do is be able to get an update of the contents of the server. And so whenever we post something to our website, because we're creating or updating information on our website, we should always expect to put in this intermediate redirect stage so that the web browser knows to do a second request this time a get request rather than a post request right here. And then it can get back the, the response. The cool thing is from the user's perspective, I'll circle this in red right here, this is done automatically by the web browser. So the user doesn't see anything different. The user sees them submitting the post request. The server comes back to our browser and says, oh, go somewhere else. The browser says, sure, I'll go there and the web server comes back with the true response and the web browser displays it here. So it is a seamless 
experience for the the user to to be able to do and so it, it is a is a very nice way to be able to make sure that we don't get any duplications and still get the response in some sort of HTML format that we expect. So for all of our uh, experiences where, where we're sending something to be updated to the server, we're going to follow this post redirect get pattern in order to, to be safe uh, or more safe from having duplicates, um, experiencing duplicate submissions.